Hi developers, I'm Hossein Deli'i, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll take a look at a very nice plugin called MicroCharts, which enable you to create pie charts, donut, line charts, and also radial gauge charts in your Xamarin Forms application. So this plugin here, I have a demo for what it could do. So here I have the Android application and the iOS application. And here you see we do have all those graphic um, representations for uh, data. So we do have the various types of uh, charts that could be uh, implemented and uh, represented by the uh, plugin. So let's take a look at how to use this plugin and how to build such nice user interfaces using microcharts. Here I start from Visual Studio, so I'll go and create a new Xamarin Forms application by choosing cross-platform and then cross-platform app using Xamarin. I call my application microcharts demo. Then from here I choose that I want my application to use portable class library instead of shared project. Click OK. Once the application is created, we'll go through the first step, which is adding the NuGet package for the solution. So we go and right click our solution, then hit manage NuGet packages. And from here, we choose browse, and then we'll go and look for micro uh, charts. Here you see that we do have two plugins, actually. One is for Xamarin native applications, if you are planning to use this with your Xamarin.ios or Xamarin.android application. For Xamarin Forms, we use microcharts.forms plugin. So we select this one and then we choose to install it in all our Xamarin Forms uh, applications. So make sure, make sure you select all of those. Hit install, click OK. Once it is installed, you see that here in the references of our PCL project, you see that it adds a reference to a Skia Sharp. So microcharts here, it's built on top of a Skia uh, Sharp. So let's start now adding the first UI element in our application. So let's go to the main page dot XAML and right here, I don't need to use this label, but instead of it, I'll add elements from my microcharts plugin. So let's call here chart view, which uh, is a view that could hold a, a, a pie chart or a ghost chart. And chart view, because it exists and um, it is not, um, it doesn't exist inside Xamarin Forms, so we need to import its namespace. So for that, the way to do that from XAML is by calling XMLNS, which um, hold a reference for another namespace. And here you see it's the namespace for our uh, microcharts.forms uh, plugin. So now I can add a chart view and here I go and specify that my chart view will have a height request of 150, for example. So once we have created this chart view, now we will specify what we want to show inside this uh, chart view. So let's give it a name so then we can use it from our uh, C-sharp code. Let's create x.name and let's call it chart1. Now let's go to our C-sharp code and let's add the other code required to create a chart. So because a chart, it's, uh, it represents data, so we need to create this data that we want to represent. So to create that, we'll uh, create a list, a list of entries, and here each, uh, each data is an entry, or each point in our charts is an entry. So here, I'll create entries equal new list of entries. And the way to create those entries is by uh, creating instances of entry. Each entry here, you see it have um, various uh, properties. Here you see it's showing me the entries. It created a Xamarin Forms entry, but we want to use that because here we want to use the entry coming from our microcharts. 
So what I can do here is I can specify the namespace for my entry saying microcharts.entry and then I have to do that also here. So if I choose to do this then I have to uh, specify microcharts.entry in every um, in every time I use entry. But we have a better uh, option right here. What if I can do using entry? So in each time I call entry, I want to use the entry coming from microcharts instead the one coming from uh, Xamarin Forms. So I choose this solution because it's uh, better for me. And here each entry, so it's have to accept a value of type float which represent the value of that point. So here let's say for example this one will be 200 and then we can specify other properties like the color. So let's choose a color right here. Let's choose this color for example. Then other data are the label so which uh, what I want to show inside that uh, entry. So as you see right here, each entry has um, a color, then uh, the entry, and also a value. So let's create the first label here. Let's say this is the data for uh, January. Then also we can add value label, and that's the label that will be shown inside the text. So here, because we specified 200, we want to show also 200. I'll go and add two other uh, entries uh, to show the data for February, March, and so on. Now that we have created those entries, now we want to uh, show them inside our chart. So let's call our uh, chart 1 right here. So let's say chart 1 dot a chart equal in you uh, here we from here we can uh, choose which type of chart we want to use so here we do have the bar chart donut line point and radial gauge chart let's start by uh, radial gauge uh, chart for example and from radial gauge chart it we need to uh, specify the entries for this uh, chart so let's say here entries equal the entries that we already uh, created. So it's this simple to create a by chart to represent those uh, data. So it's just some lines of code. Now let's see this in action. So let's uh, run this on iOS for example. Let's choose simulator. And now here it is our application running on iOS so it shows the different data with the colors that we already uh, chosen. The same way we have used radial gauge chart we can use the other charts so here you can go and choose for example a bar chart and also I can choose the other one donut chart or I also can, uh, can use do not chart point chart so with, from those different charts you use the one that suits the type of your data i want to mention here that the good the code source of microcharts.forms plugin is available on github so here if we go to github.com to this uh, repository then we will find the source code with some samples and some um, how to go through uh, sample code that shows you how to use this plugin for your Xamarin iOS, uh, Xamarin Android or Xamarin Forms uh, applications. So I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you.